Mike Zero Fox X Ray Bravo Ham Radio Diary. M Zero FXB just got the ICOM 705 connected via USB cable now. So we've gone in the radio and selected on CIV, selected uh, in uh, in mod. You go menu set. Uh, go to wireless LAN and connection type. Okay, turn the LAN off and then go to CIV. Uh, we'll find that Con connectors and mod input. You got to put data off mod. I've got USB and data mod USB. So I know you can't see that at the moment. Um, so then look, this was quite important that I had to put. Um, the connection is USB here. The rest is all there. Com A with the radio. Everything else the radio found on its own. And then um, I ran the usual wizard, which is uh, this one here. So you can see the board ray. Uh, you can select the speakers. I mean, I'm just trying to get the thing connected at the moment, but it all seems to be working. Um, you got the setup wizard here. Just click this one here, the bottom left. Set up for local. That's the one I clicked. And when you click the the wizard, um, it I won't do the whole thing, but you know, it set up a local PC. You go next. It, it USB it finds the radio straight away. Then you go next. Keep going through next, um, next, and it just finds it. Um, and I'm just gonna can't try and cancel that now. <laughs> Uh, well, it looks like I've got another one added, but I can I can delete it anyway. So, uh, but you see how that's how I found it, and um, and uh, just just yeah, quite straightforward. You can see the scopes working. Let's see if I can get the remote. You it will close it off. So I'll click. No, I don't want to close this off, do I? So just minimise it for now. Uh, the scope. Have I disconnected it? But anyway, the. The um, let's come out of this window here and so 7 3. Hope this helps. M0 FXB, yeah, just got the scope working on uh, the ICOM 705. So here comes the scope filling up now, just here on 40. The uh, the main thing is turn on the uh, USB in CRV connections. You've got two where you can select wi wireless LAN, just select. Um, you you know USB, and away you go. There's a little wizard you've got to run. You obviously got to install the RSBA1 software, and then it ends up looking like this. We can change bands. Look, there's 40 meters there. You just click on click on the say click on the VFO. Look, and you can go up. You can scroll. You can go scroll faster by selecting the middle part, like so. Not great activity today, and then the RF gain needs to go back, doesn't it? So we get a better scope. There you go. You can control the power. Memories, you need to make sure you've got your co-plug ready so you can load that up. And that's your memories. Um, and then because it's the 705, you have the funky two meters and 70 sems, which works very well. Now, uh, then there's the squelch, so we can turn that up. Is that the right one? I get confused, but you can do the squelch. Doesn't seem to be working great at the moment, but I'll have a little play with that later. So, uh, what else have we got here? Let's see if I can turn this down a bit. So yeah, have a look, see what you think. It's the uh, RSB one remote control software. Definitely d software definitely works wirelessly and via a cable. This particular video is showing it via a cable. Seven three.